Hello and welcome to another one of my videos on YouTube. Uh, I'm Tom Rouse and this is going to be my first Football Manager YouTube video. Well, it's not actually. There's other YouTube videos of mine with Football Manager in it. But this is going to be the first series that is going to involve Football Manager. What I've done is I asked for a few people if they wanted to be involved in this during that last video. I had... 19 responses and of course I added myself into the game and what I've done is I've given each of those players a potential ability of minus 10 which is the highest ability you can have on the game. The potential ability works out of 200 so for example Lionel Messi has got a potential ability of 100 sorry he's got a potential ability of 200 he's got a current ability of 198 and all of us players on this game now will have that same potential ability. So it'd be interesting to see now who stays at the Wolves. I've added Wolves as a favourite team for some of these people. Uh, others, my friends, for example, I've got a friend who's a Leeds fan, friend who's a West Ham fan, friend who is a Man United fan. So I've put them as their supported clubs. And we'll see if, because of course they're going to be top players in the future, whether they leave the Wolves or whether they manage to stay. Some obviously will leave. Um, so yeah, let's get into it now. Okay then, so what we've got here is the start screen for the game. And now we're going to have a look at the Wolves under 18 squad to see where our players fit in. So here we go. Players, under 18 players, there we go, all the red ones are our boys there, so you can see they make up a large majority of that squad. Uh, we've also got one player who's made it into the under 23s squad, which is Keepers. Now just to compare them all together, I've made a short list of the players, which is going to appear for us here. And I've got a few stats at the moment which, which are obviously blank because the game hasn't started, the save hasn't started yet. So, I'm just going to quickly talk through what we've got here. And I've just remembered the uh, what I've forgotten to put in, which is the current ability and also the potential ability. Which are hidden stats. But I've managed to unlock those. So, if we compare them at the moment... Let's have a look who's got the highest potential ability. That person with 199 is Flash Plays. He's going to be playing left midfield. He's got a current value of 2.6 million and a current ability of 108, which is fantastic for somebody who's 15 starting off with 108 ability. Uh, to compare that, I've just checked Helder Costa's current ability, which is 147. So that gives you some sort of perspective there. Then we've got Michael McIntyre, who's on 197. Uh, not the Michael McIntyre, I hasten to add. He just shares a name. 197 is a great ability. He's also in the England under-21s team already. Uh, and he's valued at 5 million. Uh, Liam Eduardo Gregorini is next, then with 190 at left-back. Uh, I've, I've read that he's got an absolute corker of a left foot. Uh, he's going to be playing for Malawi, um, so I'm sure he'll be getting a um, call-up soon. Uh, then we've got myself, ranked at 189 potential ability, but for some reason I'm only worth £11,500 at the moment. I don't know why that is, probably because I'm fat and lazy. Um, so then let's have a look at the value of the players. The best of the highest value player is Keepers, who was in the under-23 squad. Uh, Scottish, 7 million. Potential ability of 180, which is still fantastic. Um, so what I'm hoping to see now from this squad of players, these 20 players, is to see who is loyal to the Wolves, who goes and becomes the best player. We've seen now that uh, Flash Plays was it, has got the highest potential ability. So... In theory, he should go on and be the highest value player. He should go and score the most goals or the most assists or most caps. 
It'd be interesting to see how long it takes them as well to get to certain milestones and who wins the most trophies, perhaps. Um, but there's some players who will get more caps than others. For example, Liam Eduardo Gregorini. Malawi, you'd imagine he'd have a cap before he's 16. As well, just Mike for Gibraltar and Dave as a party for Gibraltar and Malta. They are likely to get caps early on in the save. Um, so I was a little bit worried at first with the comments that were coming in because lots of people were asking to be strikers, which wouldn't have been very good for the save. I'd love to be able to see what happens with this team. Uh, let's just have a quick look at some of the stats. In particular, let's have a look at the highest rating player, flash plays, crossing. I don't know what these pictures are, by the way, over here. Uh, they seem to be random pictures. Uh, crossing and dribbling, first touch 15, they have excellent stats. Uh, passing 11, technique 13, vision 15, pace 13, and acceleration 15, they're excellent stats for a left-sided player. Um, he's contracted at the Wolves until 2018 as well, which I imagine lots of them are. Uh, let's have a look at Michael McIntyre, who's a striker. Good finishing, good first touch and dribbling. Potential to get in the um, in the first team, I'd imagine, fairly quickly. Let's have a look at... There's one request that I had was that Matt Wayne wanted a higher pace than Liam Gregorino. Uh, you can see here Matt Wayne's pace is 18 and Liam Eduardo Gregorini, his pace is 15, so slightly, slightly faster, Matt. And Jack Rashbrook there. I don't know who that is. Uh, centre back looks fairly steady. Heading 13, marking 14, tackling 13. And he hopes that he'll learn a lot while he's at Wolves. So lots to look forward to. I'm going to sim forward now a year. And then I'll come back with another video in a couple of days uh, with an update for you with that. So right, thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to check back in another couple of days for the follow-up, which will be the end of the first season. We'll see where we are from there. Now, I know that some Football Manager YouTubers like just checking up after two or three or five seasons, but I'm going to check up every season because this is my first Football Manager YouTube series. I'm going to learn how to do it, so I'm going to spend this, these couple of weeks practicing and refining any sort of techniques. So don't forget to subscribe if this is the first time you've watched one of my videos. Um, I'm very, very heavily Wolves based. So yeah, don't forget to check back for the next, for the end of season one review and I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye bye.